Welcome back for the final Super Tuesday recap for TV shows for the summer. We're, we're going to be on off-season break. We'll still be having plenty of uh, Super Tuesday recaps talking about comic books. As a matter of fact, uh, this Wednesday, I think, is when I'm going to release the uh, Secret Empire um, Super Tuesday recap. And then I think probably the week after that, because I know Deep House is waiting on this, we'll, we'll talk about the button and some, some DC Rebirth stuff. That we can, we can catch up on. So, um, but we're back to talk about uh, the season finale of Arrow, season five, episode twenty-three. Uh, Lee and you, uh, Oliver assembles a group of unlikely heroes, Slade, Nissa, Merlin, and Digger Harkness, to engage in an epic battle, battle against Chase and his army. All right. So listen, last last review we did, it was me and Deepom, and we had Jeff on. We were talking about our disappointment with the Flash finale. It um, just to be honest, it sucked, and. Uh, I, I made a prediction, said that uh, I know that the Arrow finale is going to um, wash that taste out of my mouth. And let me just say, for the entire season, as good as the season has been, I have not rewatched an episode of Arrow before doing a review. I usually watch it like either on, if we're doing a review on Sunday, I usually watch it on Saturday. Maybe I'll watch it like an hour before we do a review. But I usually don't rewatch Arrow. I usually save it. I not only watched this episode after we finished doing the recording, and anybody knows my commute for work right now knows that's ridiculous. Because we didn't finish recording until like ten o'clock Wednesday. I immediately watched this episode, and then I just rewatched it again. This episode is amazing. It's amazing because they do. First of all, they do so much in like 40 so years. much. Like this is like but, yeah. But it's not, it doesn't, it never feels, it, it, it's clearly the finale for the season, everything building to this, but it feels like a 10 year finale. Yeah. From the moment you wrecked that ship, this is the finale of 10 years. Yo, it, yeah. Yeah. Five years on the island, then five years of him getting to this point. 10 years. It's, it's really coming full circle. And the jump to the end real quick, they literally ended by blowing up the, the last remnants of that old life. We will never, we won't be back to this island. Why and how do you, how do we know? Because we blew it the fuck up. <laughs> right? Like, how do we move forward and let go of something? You know that saying, I love that saying, um, when people always say, don't burn bridges. I'm like, well, sometimes you burn bridges so you can never return to them. Well, they just literally burned a bridge by burning an entire fucking island. So you can't come back to it anymore. And that means going forward, you have to lean Literally lean forward, you have to go for with with Oliver's story without him going back to that time on the island because that's literally been the story. Um, and it's so great because you actually get the one character that knows everything that Oliver's been through is a character I, I I can't believe we didn't think about this before. It's Slade, and Slade has that conversation with them, and all of a sudden it all becomes clear. You know, he says my, uh, Oliver's like my past is coming back to haunt. Uh, my past coming back to haunt me seems like to be, seems to be a recurring theme with you. And he tells him that you have survivor's guilt. Everything, everything that you've done, everything that you become, has everything to do with your father, and everything to you, uh, him sacrificing himself, and you believing that he died for you, and you have to you 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 haven't forgiven yourself for that. And when you look back on these five seasons, that is absolutely one hundred percent true. A hundred percent true. It's exactly what you and I talked about them trying to pull off an air on Flash, but it didn't really have the weight of three years of, of it, was, it was a three. They tried to do a three year finale. Meanwhile, Arrow's over here like, or we could just close out our ten. Right, and and I think that and that's a good that's a good point there, because what we always say to Air of Flash, don't out dark Arrow because you can't. It's not even about being dark. It's that. Arrow really does, and again, it's only been five seasons, but they've built, because of the flashbacks, they've built in ten years. Yep. And so this is a ten-year arc that you have, and they've done it in five seasons, and they don't get enough credit for that. And you can you can do this. You can pull this off, and you, you can with any other show, honestly. And, um, like, this was an, I'm sorry, this is amazing. This is probably one of the best finales that CW has done for a DC show. It was strong from start to finish, and it was it was just it, yeah. I think you're 100 percent right. That's without getting too hyper. 
Oh, hard volley. Yes. I mean, and, and I'm and I, and I and I hate that you know comparing things. This is like, but seriously, this is just this was a well done thing. They pulled out, and there wasn't a down moment. I mean, and not just for Oliver. Um, and I kind of had a feeling this was coming when um they they announced that he wasn't going to be on the show. I was like, well, let's wait and see. Um, they close out an arc with Merlin and and, and Thea. And I think the door is kind of open still at some point, maybe season down the line to maybe bring him back. But, you know, Barrowman already came out and, and did his little goodbye on social media and told people he's definitely not coming back next season. Again, I always take that with a grain of salt because, you know. Yeah, not coming back means he's not going to be a regular. He could still do a guest spot or something. Right. So, you know, there's always there's always a way of bringing people back in some kind of way, even if it's just flashbacks, to be perfectly honest. So... Like, um, but I do feel like he, he's, you're not going to get, if you get more Malcolm Merlin going forward, it's not going to be the Malcolm Merlin that you like when you see him as a huge part of the story. Um, right. and, and, and that's fine because again, while I, I, I'm sad to see such a great actor go and such a great character on the show go, um, he went out on top. Remember he had a great run on Legend of Tomorrow this season and the arc with him and Thea, um, you got some. You got a little bit of closure there, you know. And Thea will have to deal with Thea, Thea moving forward, dealing with the fact that Malcolm Merlin was her father, and and that he sacrificed his life for her. That's something she can still deal with without him being there. Um, so you still get more growth with the Thea character. But between them, I think that's the best you could do because it was getting. I don't want to say old, but there was only so much you could do with her, uh, and and, and with, with with Malcolm and, and Thea on some. I'm your father. I really love you. Well, I hate you. I want you to go away. Right. At some point, one of them has to die. You know, because they were never going to have that father daughter relationship. So I'm okay with that. So, yeah, I just think that was a, it was a good, a good send off for the character and not bad. And, and they did it in a way that, that again, like you said, doesn't slow down the pacing of the episode and didn't distract from it. It's still like, this was a sprint, to be perfectly honest. As much as stuff they, they did and went through here, it was a sprint to the end. And they were able to reconcile like so much that happened. I think it's really impressive that, like you said, it was a sprint and the pacing stayed good the entire time. But at the same time, we got real emotional reconciliation because, as you noted, their relationship had kind of been in a standstill, kind of been at this impasse of, I don't trust you, but I love you, but I hate you, but I don't trust you. And this gave everyone a little, it, it allowed it, the, the relationship to reconcile with forward momentum. Right. So that the there's actual impact. Because if, if, he, if, he, if he dies, if he still just hates him, then there's no future, there's no story you can tell next. Right. Hey, hold now, on. Hold on real quick, because you're, you're sounding like... It, it, I'm going to boot you and get right back in, all right? Now. Okay. Yeah, I just think it's great that they were able to reconcile Thea's storyline with Malcolm without having her set her back and, and allow her to tell more stories in the future. I also really enjoyed the fact that they kept her out of the suit. Like, part of me always wants Thea in the suit, because I think Thea's a great character in the field and keeps the uh, Roy Harper Memorial um, pointless parkour uh, <laughs> trophy alive. But... I think it was important that that Ollie say that he he trusted her to protect Felicity because that's mm -hmm. who she, he cared about the most outside of William. Yeah, and I think that that was both a really good way to show their relationship and how it had been strengthened, and him calling her Speedy in their little moment when they got rescued, and mm -hmm. I really appreciated that and how it uh, ties back to all the way to season one. Yeah, uh, and I, and I'll say this: like, if there's one thing, one thing I will say about next season, uh, and we'll get into that later then, but. Um... I do need more Thea in the suit. I'm sorry. I just that's just me being greedy <laughs> because she is such a great character in the suit. I mean, the thing about it is, she might be one of my favorite characters on the show. Period. Like in and out of the suit because she's she's actually developed. And, and when you go back and again when you when you watch this episode, seeing them come full circle is so hard not to go back and revisit that first season. Now, like I actually want to go back and watch that first season now. She's such a different character. Like I remember in the first season, people were just like Thea Queen, such a, th a pointless character. Now we can't get enough of Thea. Can't go wrong. Right. Can't go wrong. Right. But so. and, and I see what you're saying about her in the suit. I will take it either way because I can accept that she can't put the suit back on. Yeah, you're right. I'll accept that. But at the same time, 
I would also pop for the suit. I'd be very happy about the suit. <laughs> I, I, honestly, the, my, 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 my main reason for her, her being back in the suit, she carries a fucking sword. <laughs> like... I'm always, yep. I'm always gonna be here for sword ratchetness. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I just that I, I, again, I totally understand why she won't put it back. Like as a character, why she can't put that suit back on if she never does. I will totally, you know, rationally understand that. But irrational, greedy Chris. <laughs> nah, nigga, I need her in the suit. I need Speedy in the red suit. Not to mention, like, I just liked her suit. Like the red suit is just, it was badass. I'm sorry, it just, it just was. Um, man, like the thing that I love about this episode is that they nailed all the small details and things that these are the small things that we 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 hit flash for this season that they that the arrow just didn't get. Like, you know, I got excited a couple weeks ago when I saw the trailer and saw you know Oliver pull the Deathstroke mask out and says, "I need your help," and you get Slay going. I'm glad you came, kid. You're like, I got it really excited. But in the back of my mind, I'm screaming, but why the fuck would Slade agree to do this? Why would Oliver do this? Like, this doesn't make any sense, right? Well, they explain it. Like, beginning of the episode, they get all that out of the way. Slade doesn't, is, isn't, um, doesn't have that Mary Kuru in his, in his blood stream anymore, so he's not crazy. You gotta remember, before he went crazy with the Mary Kuru, him and Oliver were close. They were friends on the island. Like, they were, they were allies. They were brothers, you know? So, so there's that. Um, then Oliver also is saying, Hey, I need you to help me find my son and I have information on your son. And so right then and there, you get a mutual understanding of why both of these characters would help each other. And even you have Slade going, Slade asks, it's like, why would you, I killed your mother. Why would you want me to help you? You know, which is honestly, once you get past as an audience and as a fan, just the awesomeness of Manu Bennett back in the in the Deathstroke suit, you have to ask yourself, you're like, yeah, like he did kill your mom. Why are you here? Then they follow that up later on when Thea sees Slade and Merlin and goes, you do realize these are both the men that are responsible for our parents' death. Well, how do you come back? I mean, I get all his point, but like, no one's wrong here. Yeah. Except for Yali. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, is, is Ali really wrong? Yes. Well, he needed a team. Who was he gonna get? Barry. What up with that group of metahumans? I'm and I'm being and I'm being obviously obtuse, <laughs> just because I did like that was one bridge. I was like, nah, dog, you killed your mom. Like, <laughs> remember when? Remember when? Um, Tony tried to almost killed Steve in in Civil War. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't know what he was doing. He killed my mom. Like, right. That's the shit. He <laughs> right. killed my mother. Well, what are you talking about? so I, and I do like, well, I did like Oliver's answer when Slade asked him. He's like, yo, I killed your mom. Why are you just like, you know, maybe the, he's like, and Slade was like, you should have killed me then. And, and, and Oliver's like, well, you know, maybe the fact that I didn't is kind of why I'm here now, you know, is, is, is what led to me, led me to this point. You know, I'm trying to be a better person. I'm trying to be better. And so I, I, I looked at it that way as, you know, now I will say letting uh, uh, Digger Harkness out, that was just stupid. <laughs> like, because there's no connection there. You know, there's no reason why Captain Boomerang would help you other than, you know, you, you said that I go free, but whatever. Also, another little sm small thing they did here that I thought was great, because I had this moment too. I was like, well, if Chase knows everything, wouldn't he also know about this Argus facility? Like, wouldn't, wouldn't he go and talk to Slade? Wouldn't, like, wouldn't he know that? And then you kind of find out, it's like, oh, Chase knew about it. He had already gone to Captain Boomerang for help. And he didn't go to Slade because he figured Slade wouldn't help him. They like, covered it all. Yeah. They covered all the bases. You know? And I'm like, that's the kind of, that's the kind of things. And it's so, they were so small. They weren't huge things that you, they needed to do. But they covered all the bases. And had they not done it? It, probably, it still would have been a great episode. Still would have been a great episode. But because they took that extra effort to close those loops and answer those questions, man, it, it, ju it just made it flow so much better. You know? And uh, even down to the fact that when you think that uh, Slade has betrayed Oliver, you're kind of yeah. like on some... And he does it twice. You're like, well, I mean, come on. It's Slade Wilson. What do you expect, Oliver? It's like, Yeah. It's like, how dare you be upset? 
Right. It's like, dude, you, you did it. And then part of me was like, wait a minute, this might be part of the fucking plan. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm I hoping part of the plan. It was like, I said, like, you know, if I, if, if, if Slade did betray, I'm like, I told you, motherfucker. I, I would feel, I'd be mad at all. Right. <laughs> right. But, um, and also, I just wanted that, again, for selfish reasons, I, I, I need, if you're going to get rid of Malcolm Merlin, it's a great way to bring back Slade Wilson as a recurring yeah. character every now and then. Like, that, that, hey, if you got to replace uh, uh, Malcolm Bar- Barrowman, <laughs> like, I'll yeah, take there it. There are worse ways to do it. I'll, I'll take it, you know? Um, yeah, man, it's it's just so great. Um, I love the, the fact that, and the thing I also love is that Chase was such a Chase might be one of the the best enemies since Slade, just because he knows Oliver so well that he anticipates everything, even down to the dead man switch on himself. Mm-hmm. It, it 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 makes sense. And then the choice at the end is like Oliver, save your son or save everybody you left back on the island. You know what are yeah. you gonna do? And and if you and, and that's the thing, him begging Oliver to kill him earlier. He knew that if Oliver killed him, you condemn everybody here to death. Not only, not only everybody else, but yourself too. Come on, blow up. it's going to blow up the island. You didn't know that, but there you go. Then it came down to uh, you either kill me and save your son, or you let everybody else on the island live, or I kill your son. Like, these are impossible choices, <laughs> you know? And, uh, you know, it, it, it showed the growth of Oliver of, you know, having to make you know, the tough decision. And he, 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 he chose a third option, obviously, but yeah. still, I mean, what, a, what, a, what a villain in, in, in chase, you know, I'm, I was almost sad to see you go, but it goes back to what you're saying. He had to die. You can't keep him around. Yeah. <laughs> Cause he's too much of a problem. It's not like you could mirror crew handling it. It's this guy has haunted you. He's, he's run that parallel course the last 10 years. Mm-hmm. This is the anti. This is this is his reverse flash. Yeah, and so he has to die, uh, and he just does. It. And I'm thinking at the end, I'm like, wait, this is too good. And then when he starts talking about this is good, this is good. He's 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 younger than you, so he'll be. So I'm like, I'm like, I look at like Stephen Emil, like, yo, what's he planning? What's he gonna do? Then he pulled that gun, and I was like, this son of a bitch is gonna kill himself and blow up everybody on the island. Truly like, full circle, by the way, because was the one of the first things we saw was his dad kill himself. Yes. Yes. And again, complete full circle on here. Uh, and and yeah. <laughs> it is just it, it, the themes here, they land. Um, and just like, again, when we talk about the Flash. I think the theme of the Flash overall in that last season is there. It works. It makes sense. Overall, when you don't get down to the details and the weeds are there. The difference between Arrow and Flash this season, though, is the theme on and Arrow and Flash are both similar, and they and they both have the, the the heroes trying to find themselves and who they really are. Arrow just executed way better, particularly down the the final stretch of episodes, and the details are just there. You know, you get um, <clears throat> Felicity talking to um, I can't remember uh, William's mother. I, I don't remember her name because uh, yeah, does not it doesn't matter. <laughs> her name doesn't matter. Uh, but you have that going on there. You have Talia confronting um, uh, uh, Nissa confronting Talia. You know? Uh, yeah. And then and then, and then Slade showing up to also take out ninjas and I'm just like, I was just happy. Just The, the fighting is so episode. crazy because you say that and we start talking about all the, the moments that happen, but at the same time it's emotionally and thematically so consistent with what the show has been. This entire season has been, uh, has, a, in my opinion, a dual thematic narrative. Mm-hmm. First was Ollie learning to trust his team. That's a little bit undercut by having a scene get kidnapped and trust a new team. Mm-hmm. But it's enforced by the secondary larger theme of the 10 years, really. It's all about learning to trust himself. Right. And people will say, oh, no, he didn't use his team. But he trusted himself and his judgment enough to recruit a new team. And it did not work because Digger turned coat on him. Mm-hmm. But he didn't let that setback scrap his whole plan. Well, and not only he that, adjusted, he, he he moved forward, right? Um, but not only that, but he um, there's there's plenty of times in the in the episode where you see him trusting his team. You know, it's like I trust. Hey, Via, I trust you to get them off the island. You know, 
I trust you. He trusted people yeah. to do what they need. He trusted the team to do what they need to do. Him uh, bringing, uh, trusting Slade to help him get to where he, to, to get to his team, just so he can get Dinah her the the, the sign do- dampener. Because again, he knew he needed. So even though he didn't, um, he used a new team. He also knew he needed his team as well. You know, so um, yeah, you're right. I mean, that theme is there. Then and then Oliver trusting himself and not beating himself up. Um, that's why the end of the sea, uh, he said, I'm pretty sure they got somehow got to the east of the island, uh, everybody or m- most everybody. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, you, you say they didn't? There's no way. Hmm. There's going to be some sort of other do that, do a mic uh, that that's going to get them off the island, but okay, that that like they said it there, there was no time, okay, unless unless they build in like a ridiculous HR replacing Iris time jump, right. <laughs> Which I'd be really disappointed with, but I would also accept because this show's got enough. Like, as long as like, this show's done enough, then I'll hand wave some shit. Yeah, I'll, I'll allow it. It's some, somehow, most of that team's getting off the island some kind of way. Um, I'll be interested exactly. in seeing if, 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 if they did get Evelyn off because she was talking about cages. Fucker, I'm really sick. I don't want her to pop up. I mean, you're like, oh, yeah, this bitch again. Yeah. Uh, I do Think want, I, I'm sorry, and I know it's probably not going to happen. I do somehow want Captain Boomerang to not have died from. What happened to Mal- Malcolm Merlin? Because, uh, damn it. <laughs> Come on, guys. I need I need him on the Flash. <laughs> so. Or they go one. Owen. Ah, that's, that, that's a valid point. I didn't think about that. They go Owen and get a, you get a, you get a short, short range speedster who can throw fast. All right, I'll go with that. Make him more of a threat to the, more of a threat to the Flash guys. Mm, uh, you know what? Not a bad not a bad idea. No, trust me. I spent, I spent the last two days like, how do I fix this? Because <laughs> I, need, I, I, need, need, I need Boomer Butt in, in, in the road. Yeah, I, need, I, I, I need that. I need that to happen. So, um, <laughs> Yeah, man. It's just, oh, this is just. Oh, and then, and I don't know why we didn't think of this. Of course, the, 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 the cameo was Moira. Of course, it was Moira, and I didn't. I can't believe we didn't even. It didn't even cross our mind when we talked about this. Who it could be? We're thinking about you know people that could fight and things like that. But of course, it's his mother. And man, it. Listen, say what you want about Moira and her, her her moral. Sometimes I loved. I loved Moira Queen. Like I love that character. And, I love that actress. She really brought it. Yeah. And this episode, just having her and. And um, and 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 Oliver talk, uh, and and him make that call, and just a scene how he got off the island, and him taking on Kovar, and that, and then putting on the fake wig, and in the and 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 firing that arrow to get to light the beacons, like all of that. It was just like this. This felt like the the, the like you said the end of a ten year arc, and it just all came full circle, and it all came together. And yet, it still ended us on a holy shit, what the fuck moment. <laughs> they literally blew up the end, you yo, with with all the team on it. Like, and that's something I keep trying. I'm trying to find the best way to say this. They did all the thematic things we're talking about. They did all the emotional beats we're talking about, and they still went full on. Like, they still at a certain point they pulled back a little and said, "Huh, what?" Well, we, we could, you know, all these emotional beats are important, but what if you gave him 42 minutes to just kick-ass action? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you ever finished Justice League Unlimited, but I had one of my friends compare the final episode of that series, Destroyer, mm-hmm. to this. And I was like, that's really interesting as you put it that way, because Destroyer, yeah, there's the themes, there's the big big moments, big set pieces, but it's literally just 40, it's, it's, it's a half-hour action. And this episode, for all the emotional things they did, for all the comedy they wrote in, like even uh, Curtis, the plane, the plane, what mm-hmm. you dated, like that, he's really grown on me. <laughs> right. They were able to do everything they wanted to do in 42 minutes. It felt like, and this is not damning with faint praise, it felt like a Marvel television show. No, absolutely. It, it felt, felt like a Marvel movie condensed into 42 minutes. This felt more like uh, an Asian Sh- of S.H.I.E.L.D. finale. Yeah, you know what? Even though, because I thought about that, talking about this. I think it's better than any of our show finales. Hold on, because those usually wrap up the story they're telling. This wrapped up ten years. Yeah, I can I can go with that. Yeah, this was more ambitious 
than a, a, an AOS finale we've had so far. And, and when you think about how this entire season started, if you were going, oh, they're doing the first season again, the first two seasons again, they're making it too similar, and they try to tell you, like, hold on, just wait a minute, we got a story to tell, you guys will see how different this is, and they did. Here's the thing, man, we went this entire se- we still don't know who the fuck Vigilante is. Nope. <laughs> what the fuck happened to Vigilante? <laughs> like, <laughs> dog. Like, it is just, like, oh, man. I, and, and like you said, it, 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 it wraps up everything there. It, you, um, you, you, you end uh, the flashbacks with Oliver literally killing everybody. <laughs> all the Kovar's men. All of them. And then breaking Kovar's neck. And but you in the present day with Oliver deciding he's not going to kill Chase, even on the fact yeah. when Chase originally tells him he killed William, and I kind of got happy, and I was like, oh, they, they're not going to do it, but I kind of got happy still. Oliver's like, I don't believe you. You know, the entire time you've been trying to manipulate me into doing something that you want you want me to do this, I'm not going to fall for it. I do not. I do not believe you. You know, and um, yeah, I mean, it's just it's just been so good. Uh, and, and not just Oliver, Oliver Story, but going back to um, Thea and, and Malcolm Merlin, I love that line. It's like, you may not think of me as your father, Thea, but you will always be my daughter. And then he says, yeah. you know, and she's like, you don't have to do this like a child never doesn't. And he was like, I always wanted to protect you. She's like, you don't have to do this. Like a child doesn't have to ask. And it's just, hmm. you, it, it's just, it's, it's still a real moment. She's like, as much of a piece of shit as Malcolm Merlin is, and let's not get it twisted. He is a piece of shit. An unrepentant one, right? An unrepentant one. Like as Thea said, he made me kill my. He made me kill my, 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 uh, my friend's sister. Like he made me do that. Like he still, at the end of the day, will do a lot to protect his daughter. And that might sell out other people. Might sell out the rest of humanity. Like he was literally. Don't forget when uh, season four came, he was literally fine with the rest of the world being laid to waste as long as he could save Thea. Well, also season three, he was feeding her assassins to feed her bloodlust. Right. <laughs> like this is yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. I mean, not saying that this is father to your material because he definitely is not. But um, yeah, man, yeah. He he loved Thea. You can you make no mistake about anything else. He he did love that girl. So, but man, it was just what it. I can't sing the praises of this enough. Like I said, I watched this episode twice. I enjoyed the fuck out of it. Like this, you know, bravo for Arrow. I, here's the thing. I don't even know where they go from here. <laughs> like, cause this, this, this list, this is the problem that Arrow has. And I think it's the same thing I had with them in season two. <clears throat> when, once you hit season two and season two hit that high with Deathstroke and what they did there, like it's really hard to top that next season. And so, Next season is going to be really interesting for me because it took them a while to build up to this season five and get to this part where, to me, this season and, and, and season two are like neck and neck as far as my favorites. And I almost want to go with this one just because um, it does close that 10-year arc here and close that story. I'll be real interested in seeing where they go forward with this um, and, and how they and how they deal with that. Because um, one thing they didn't do what they do in the other seasons is they really didn't set up for a villain for next season. They've done the vigilante te- you're right on, on, on a large scale. They've done the vigilante teases. Right. Um, I don't know. You know, you do not use Dolph Gun Lundgren for one year. <laughs> um, that's just me, 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 myself. I think a broken neck on an island. Um, <laughs> Where people come back from all necessarily an inassailable thing in this show. <laughs> I mean, zombie Dolph Lundgren, I can do that. <laughs> Yeah, like a, a, a dog lugger like feels no pain or something. Like, yeah, let's do this. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> See, <laughs> and, and and five years to recuperate from that injury sounds about right. <laughs> let's go. But yeah, you're right. There's no, there's no clear. They even put the the placard. We'll be back next year. This this setting up. I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> I'd have moved the fucking island and faded to black. No credits, dude. When the I when when that logo came on at the end, I was like, uh. Well, y'all got a teaser for next season, right? Y'all got y'all got something, right? You... I, was, I was like, boo, scare them, <laughs> fuck them, scare them. 
Oh, I'm telling you, man. I need I need well, them I don't to think change. The show's over. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I need them to change the name. I need them to change. <laughs> I need them to change the name and come back Green Arrow next season. Do it, guys. Do it, WB. You can't announce the name change until the end of the first episode. Right. You run that title card. Right. Like, do it. I'm saying, do it. Like, because that would that would be it. Because, again, you've done the 10-year arc thing. You've closed off this chapter. Moving forward, it has to be Green Arrow. It has, you like, blew up the arrow. You blew up the arrow. Like, I even noticed one thing, and, and it's something that I just haven't been noticing all this season. Stephen Mill's growing out his beard. Like it, 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 it hit me when I was watching. I was like, "Wait a minute!" Because he, when he put the, when he was putting the stuff on the flashback, I was like, "That's right, he was smooth faced. He didn't have a beard or anything, or a goatee or anything like that." And I'm looking at the present day, I'm like, "He definitely is growing a gro- this motherfucker." Yeah, come on, guys. Let's come also on. keep in mind this is a motherfucking mayor of a major American city. <laughs> I forgot about that. You 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 kind of forget that. Debate how major that city is if you can change your name in between seasons. Fair question. <laughs> but like, let's just the the show the episode ends with the island being blown up. His friends presumably uh, consumed in a hail of fireballs, and him on a fishing boat with no comms and no way to get back to Star. Right. Oh, and his kid knows who he is now. Yeah. On like multiple levels. <laughs> just, just, it's, oh man. Season six, here we come. <laughs> I'm in. I'm all in, man. It's, I can't you know, wait. I'm, whatever you want to do. Let's, let's, I'm here for the ride, guys. Um, yeah, you got, you guys got me back, man. I'm, I'm, I'm so in. I can't wait. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be great. I mean, even down to, uh, we got the Canary versus Canary fight and you had Quentin being the one that, the, to, 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 to smack, uh, Black Sovereign against her, uh, on her head, which also there's got to be a way for them to get everybody off, right? Because you're not going to end uh, Black Siren either, because they're probably going to keep yes, her around somewhere. Yes, yes. A lot of contracts have been renewed. Let's just let's just let's just buy into KF that everyone's dead for right now. Let's let's believe in something one time. Okay, 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 fine. Everybody's dead. Everybody, everybody on the island is dead, even Felicity. Yeah, it opens with Ollie by himself in Star City, raising his kid, being mayor and being Green Arrow. And then uh, we get uh, five years of the team surviving on Lee and you. Know, I'm <laughs> on, the, on the ruins of Leah and you. Right. Yeah, no. So, okay, that was my next question. So, one of the best things about this show, and it can become one of the worst things, is that they've done such a good job over the five years of tying together the, the, the flashbacks and what's currently happening in the present day. Mm-hmm. It came to a head this episode where they literally a shot for shot recreation of the fight with Kovar. Um, while he's fighting Chase. Really well done. And it did a really good job of juxtaposing what he was as far as a killer and what he is now as far as not. Um, I ask you, I have my own ideas, what do you do flashback format-wise going forward? Because one of the strengths of the show, I think, is that you don't have to write 42 minutes of present-day action. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can only skewed, you get six or maybe even ten minutes of flashback, which helps, I think, make the writing a bit crisper in the main day. I think we're going to get flashbacks. I think it's too much of a staple of the show. I think to go away from them would change the show in a way that I'm not sure it's prepared for. Where do you think the flashbacks go from here? Well, I think we talked about this. The flashbacks have to be that first year, right? His first year is Arrow. I agree, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you why I agree. If you remember at the end of season two, when uh, the, their first quiver or Arrow K, whatever, gets compromised, Slade or yeah, Slade points into the backup site that Oliver keeps. Mm-hmm. We could have a year of flashbacks to the backup site. That's right. We never did learn about that backup site. It's like coming to be alone. Like, no, you don't. This is fully outfitted with like comms gear and shit. Like, what do you do out here? <laughs> but no one pushes him on it because he was actually pretty broke at the time. Dude, mother just died. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, then the question becomes like. Where do we go from here? What do we do? From here? What stories do we tell? Do we tell stories in the gap, or do you do a five-year fast forward? Oh. Hmm. hmm. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. I just it's, there's a lot of possibility out there, and I'm excited for whatever they decide to do. Yeah, I am too. Like this has been this has been a fun ride this season, man. I I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I'm I'm so happy to see this. 
can't I can't wait to see where they go for from this. So um, yeah, anything else you want to say about this? We we'll wrap this up. That's it, man. I uh, really enjoyed this season. Really enjoy this show. I think I can unequivocally say it was the strongest of the CW shows. Have, <clears throat> excuse me. With apologies to Supergirl because I am super far behind. Right. Um, but I do feel confidently that this was the strongest series this year, and I can stand and say it's my favorite Arrow season. I'll put it above two. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm right there with you. Yeah, because it, it just, it, it just nails so many things. Like I, oh man, and and just the thought, the thought of us getting more Slade, <laughs> even if he's not a bad guy, just getting more Slade popping up every now and then. Oh boy. Old man didn't lose. Hey, his look, time. he's the cheapest staff, baby. Hmm. Jeez. Bring him into the bring him into the uh, the cabinet, the main world cabinet. Oh, no one will ever fuck with Star City ever again. <laughs> Who are your marrying deputy? Well, we've got the Green Arrow and Deathstroke. <laughs> what? Uh, it's a long story. Oh man, uh, that's gonna be. Whew, boy. Oh, can't wait. Can't Plus, wait. if he does decide to keep Deathstroke close, that's a good impetus for Athena to put on the suit and go against her brother. Oh, goodness. Because she did not forgive that shit. Oh, man. <laughs> Yo. was like, I'm going to kill him. Thea, Thea versus Deathstroke? Sword <laughs> versus sword? A, a restrained Deathstroke versus a, 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 a berserker Thea. Oh. Listen, Let's man. Go television show. Look, my favorite part about my favorite part about Deathstroke, Deathstroke being back is the way he keeps calling Oliver kid. It's been yeah. ten fucking years. He's still calling him kid. It's a, probably like you better you better slow down with the kid bullshit. I'll just let you out. Yeah, it is so good. It's like like I just like you and me, kid. Like <laughs> slow down, kid. Like I just, I just it's so disrespectful. But it's also and this episode. It felt almost like it, it. It was still like friendly. Like it's just oh, so good. Oh, I fucking love it, man. I can't wait. Season six, man. I'm I'm here. I'm all in for Arrow. Yeah. Um, the order for me, and again, I I leave Supergirl out because I didn't watch. Uh, I'm so so far behind on Supergirl. Um, Arrow closely followed by Legend of Tomorrow because they had a great season, and then great season. distant third is fucking Flash right now. I'm sorry, but they just did not nail. With those other these other two shows nailed hit, hit they hit it out of the park they both nailed their themes throughout the entire season and then it finished so they finished so so fucking strong um and, I, and honestly I think I, I'm not worried about Flash I think that they just lost their they, they lost their focus and then they get the focus back next season you know just like just like Arrow did just like Legend of Tomorrow did hey you're gonna have a down season I think this was it for Flash and I think they focus and they come back stronger. They, you, 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 at some point, you got to start focusing on your theme and what you want to do, and stick to that. And you got to stop taking little detours. And uh, I think that's all Flash does. It's it just it's really easy to get distracted with the Flash. I think that the the way they ended the show, while we didn't like how the, the the structure of it, I've thought about some more, and I do think it gives them an opportunity to really kind of push that reset button and come in with a very very focused season four. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So. You can tell a great story out of this. Like, there's they put themselves in good position because there's a lot of possibility, and you can. <clears throat> everyone's got a distinct arc. Like, you given Iris, who has been a victim of some criticism in the past as far as her character, she's been given direct arc. She literally pulled the trigger on her future former fiance, which is you know a little confusing. <laughs> um, but then she had to say goodbye to Barry. You got Wally's arc. You got hell. You got Joe, who thought he was going to lose one child and lost the other. There's, there's a lot of stories to tell. You got Cisco struggling with the, the, the strength of leadership. You got whatever the fuck's going on, Caitlin or not Caitlin or something else. The Blue Arrow. Um, <laughs> the Blue Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> does Harry go back to Earth Two, knowing that Jesse's on Earth Three? Um, will we get uh, just like does this so does the season open with a narration? My name's Wally West, and the fastest man alive on the Flash. If it does, then they already they won me. You 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 get me instantly back in the Flash's corner if you do that. It's not hard to do because guess what? Like I said during the Flash review, uh, wide scope. I got I got Kid Flash, I got Jesse Quick, and I got a, a gorilla fight. Like mm, not that terrible a season in, in <laughs> at a wide scope. But I think if they can like sand off some of those edges and tell a really focused, concise story, because 
while the story for this episode, for this entire season is the Flash, and that turns into a, a redux of the Flash review. Uh, the, th- the theme was your own worst enemy, but they established that too early on, and there was no mystery in what their story they were telling. Mm-hmm. That took a while of the charm out of it. I think if they can tease out a story, kind of like they did season one, I would honestly, I would, I'd bring back Thawne next season at a certain point, but I would go Rogues. I think you're right. I think it's time. I think the DeVoe drops are important. I think the Thinker um, being a big villain be great. I think that I would really hope that the time travel shenanigans of whatever's happening in Legends ends up with no cold on the Flash season. But DeVoe loses, and the last shot of that season is cold, freezing DeVoe, smashing into bits and saying, you ready for a real leader? Right. <laughs> yeah, come on. I need this. I need this. We need – I need you, CW executives, and no, you listen, to find a way – to get me Captain Cold versus the Scarlet Speedster, Rogues versus Flash. Let's do this. Like that's a good. That's a. Good, even if it's not the entire arc, because I don't think you can do an entire arc of that, right? Because at some point the Rogues got to talk. Because I could break twenty two on it. You can do twenty two on the Rogues. I can break twenty two. Okay. All right. Yeah, because it's not. Because the thing is, you don't open with the Rogues. That's you what I'm gonna say. Okay, yeah. Building. That's what I'm gonna say. You got like yeah. they'll take one down and then. At the end of that episode, they get broken out of jail because they looked in a reflection in the mirror. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. The mirror. And you don't even say who it is. You right. just have to escape through the mirror. Right. And you just slowly seed it out. And then it culminates in a, a, a flash of episodes or middle, mid-season even. Road War. Yep. yep. Let's do this. <laughs> we can do it, guys. All right. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Uh, thank you guys very much for listening again. Keep an eye out this week for our Super Tuesday recap. It's um, going to be doing, uh, we got this one, but then also uh, coming this Wednesday will be Secret Empire. And then after that, we'll be doing one on the button. There might be some things also coming out uh, from Shanna and the doctor. I'll talk to them and find out what they want to do uh, during this off season as well. Also, if you are a premium member, Log into your premium account if your fee's not working. I put out two new episodes on the premium feed. If you didn't get them, it's because you need to update your feed. I've changed the feed right now. Right now, it has all the episodes from 2017 in there. <clears throat> By the end of this weekend, I hope they have all of 2017 as well. We changed the feed up to make it a little bit easier for us to put episodes out going forward. Um, and then soon, there will be – also keep an eye out for that uh, for the membership page because there will soon be a feed for each separate uh, show. Uh, I have, uh, by the, maybe not by the time you hear this, but by the time Wednesday comes around and you guys hear the Secret Empire, uh, Super Tuesday recap, you guys will see there will at least be a feed for docudrunks, molecules and shit, uh, spoiler reviews, and maybe a few others. Uh, I'll be getting those, uh, individual, re- uh, 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 feeds out there. The only reason why you would want to sign up for those other feeds right now is we're closely, uh, we're about halfway there right now. Once we hit 300 on the main feed, just like uh, that's a limit, and um, you only get the latest 300 episodes. So because some shows don't 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 actually have a show every month or something like that, uh, if you want to get some of the older shows, you have to go to the website to, to get them, or they might be on the individual feeds there as well. So just keep an eye out for that, and that might you might be able to help you with there. So, um, but yeah, folks, guys, thank you very much for listening. Email us at mtrailerreviews at uh, mtrnetwork.net. Uh, leave us a five-star review on, on uh, the Super Tuesday recap feed on iTunes. You get us on iTunes, Stitcher, also Google Play Music. Uh, we're all there, Super Tuesday recap. And again, the website, mtrnetwork.net. Uh, until next time, folks, we're out of here. Peace. Peace.